It combines the simplicity of light anti-armor weapons with the advantages of heavy, crew-operated guided missile systems. With this anti-tank weapon, a single soldier can take out a heavily protected modern main battle tank at ranges between 20 and 800 meters. Designed to target main battle tanks, the British Army Next Generation Anti-Tank Weapon is a shoulder-launched missile system that attacks a tank from above. Designed to target main battle tanks. The 28-pound munition can be used at a range up to 875 yards and features a predicted line-of-sight targeting capability. That enables an operator to track a target within a matter of seconds and quickly engage it. With a maximum range of 600 meters. A weight of 12.5 kilograms and a length of 1016 mm, the NLAW is the first, non-expert, short-range anti-tank missile that can swiftly knock out any main battle tank in one shot by striking it from above. It utilizes predicted line-of-sight guidance and has overfly top and direct attack modes. And it is easy to use, making it a valuable tank destroyer for light forces that operate dismounted in all environments, including built-up areas. It also benefits from its night vision capability as well as its design preparing it for a variety of climates and environments. Following the announcement from the UK Ministry of Defence about future anti-tank missile provision, Thales in Belfast has received a contract to produce a further batch of NLAW Effector's next-generation light anti-tank weapon for the British Army. Thales UK, a subsidiary of the French arms giant, is the global producer of the next-generation light anti-tank weapon. A bazooka-style launcher originally designed by Saab of Sweden, and now shipped in the thousands by the British military to the east. The Fire and Forget anti-tank NLAW missile system may be designed by Swedish manufacturer Saab, but it's manufactured in the UK. The next generation light anti-armor weapon is a short-range, easy-to-use missile that strikes tanks from above. BFBS Forces News was granted access inside the Thales factory in Belfast to find out more about how the next generation light anti-armor weapon NLAW is made. The contract for additional missiles will go far to reinforce a key NATO member, and at the same time maintain the ability to manufacture and supply this system which is used by other NATO members and key allies alike. Commonality of equipment across multiple land forces is key to NATO interoperability and resilience. Saab's next-generation light anti-tank weapon NLAW is a shoulder-launched missile system that attacks a tank from above. It combines the simplicity of light anti-armor weapons with the advantages of heavy, crew-operated guided missile systems. With next-generation light anti-tank weapon, a single soldier can take out a heavily protected modern main battle tank at ranges between 20 and 800 meters. As a global leader in the development and manufacture of complex effectors, Thales Belfast has provided the final assembly of next-generation light anti-tank weapon NLAW on behalf of Saab since 2008. This facility in Northern Ireland is ideally suited for this purpose because for Thales it specializes in the design and development of its own lightweight weapon systems. Offering for tactical air land and sea platforms. In recent years Thales Belfast has secured contracts worth hundreds of millions from the UK Ministry of Defence and in export contributing significantly to the economy of Northern Ireland and the UK. Saab's huge ramp-up in anti-tank weapon, ammo production targets 400,000 units a year. Thales UK's weapons plant has witnessed a significant surge in production, with output doubling and poised to double again in the near future. The company, headquartered in Northern Ireland, operates two crucial sites in the region, specializing in the design and manufacturing of high-precision missiles. The primary facility, located in East Belfast, is dedicated to the production of a variety of missiles, including the renowned Starstreak and lightweight multi-role missile LMM systems, along with the final assembly of the Saab-designed next-generation light anti-tank weapon NLAW. Complementing this, another plant situated in Crossgar, County Down, handles the final assembly stage of these sophisticated weapons. The UK MOD issued Saab with a new $280 million next-generation light anti-armor weapon contract in December 2022 to restock British Army stockpiles, with production set to take place between 2024 to 2026. Delivery of 500 units to London under a separate acquisition is due to occur this year.
Saab and Sweden's Defense Material Administration also signed off on a $86 million next-generation light anti-armor weapon deal in December 2022, with deliveries set to finish in 2026. Swedish manufacturer Saab expects the weapons of its ground combat portfolio will increase dramatically to reach an annual output of 400,000 units. In the context of how we have doubled capacity from one year to the next at our Swedish production sites and by 2025 we will have doubled capacity again. Then it will be possible to generate 400,000 units from our sites per year, said Saab CEO Mikhail Johansson during a Feb. 10 Financial Results Media Briefing it is a huge ramp up. Included in that 400,000 number are the company's Carl Gustav AT4 and next generation light anti armor weapon systems. All of which are man portable weapons used against ground vehicles, as well as ammunition. Philip McBride, managing director of Thales Belfast, said, I am delighted to receive this contract today, cementing our long standing relationship with Saab. It is yet another vote of confidence in the talent of our workforce here at Thales Belfast. Once again, Northern Ireland is demonstrating its significant role in the UK defence enterprise. We are proud to continue to provide skilled manufacturing and engineering jobs. As we continue to enjoy success like this we continue to grow and have a number of opportunities. Currently available in our Belfast operation that I would encourage anyone to look at who is passionate about playing a role in supporting UK national security. Dean Rosenfield, Group Managing Director of Saab UK said, We are pleased to be able to maintain our close bond between Thales and Saab, which has been a good working relationship for many years. I have seen firsthand the expertise and enthusiasm of the workforce in Belfast and their seamless integration with Saab's NLAW team. So I look forward to seeing this continue as part of the contract. Other than securing the Swedish and UK next-generation light anti-armor weapon contracts, Saab also benefited from a Gripen CD fighter jet upgrade deal from Sweden in Q4 2022. The quarter also included Stockholm committing to fund a life extension mine countermeasures ship agreement. While Poland signed on for two signals intelligence ships and Finland ordered missiles for the RBS-70 ground-based air defense system.